stick with us. You're in for quite a ride on the Minnesota Pro-Am Bass Tour. The Minnesota Pro-Am Bass Tour is sponsored by Aqua Innovations and Fox Sports. Tournament anglers realize how important it is to keep their catch alive. They use the Magnum Livewell Oxygenator by Aqua Innovations to maintain a desired oxygen level in the boat's live well. The Magnum not only keeps game fish alive until their release, you can use your live well as a highly oxygenated bait well too. Aqua Innovations, we put the O in H2O. www.aquainnovationsinc.com I'm a Ford truck man that's all I drive. I ain't got no boundaries. I don't compromise. I'd rather walk 10 miles and be down on my love than ride around a block in another kind of pickup truck. If you see me on the highway in a left hand lane, lost on a back road in a driving rain, but past the timber line where the ride gets rough, ain't no doubt my king of the mountains built for tough. When you're out in the water for a weekend of angling or boating, show common courtesy to other boaters. Slow down in the no-wake zones. Um, when you're passing them, slow down. It's a lot more fun for you and them also. Leech Lake is uh, it's a very large lake. It's one of the largest in the state. It's pretty much a shallow water bite. You're fishing six to eight feet or less in the whole lake. It's a lot of rice fish, a lot of slop fishing. So, so much cover up shallow with between the rice and the, and the weeds and all the reed beds and things like that. It's just there's so many places those fish could be that uh, finding them is that's really the challenge. You may have found them in one area pre-fishing, but so did a bunch of other guys. And uh, they either move deeper or really into the thick stuff. It's probably got the biggest fish in the state here. So, I mean, it's, it's fun to come here because on any cast, have a six, seven, maybe even an eight pound fish. There's always a chance you're going to catch a real big pick up here. My biggest fish personally is off of this lake, so I love coming up here trying to get another one. The Minnesota Pro Am Bass Tour has five qualifying events throughout the year where anglers are gaining points trying to make it to the Tournament of Champions. Along the way, they're racing for that coveted Angler of the Year, the most consistent angler on the Minnesota Pro-Am Bass Tour. And that Frankie's Marine Angler of the Year for 2003 is going to drive home a new Ford truck. So let's get in the boat with last year's Angler of the Year, Brad Leiferman. To look at all these great anglers and to think that you came out on top, you know, it's just unbelievable. It's like a dream, you know, for somebody like me because this is my passion just like it is most of these guys. I'm pretty excited today. I'm, this is my third year as an AM on the Pro-Am Tour and uh, I've learned stuff from everybody and I've already picked up a few tips from Brad this morning already so I'm excited about today. You, know, you almost feel giddy because this circuit has gotten so big and so advanced. I mean $10,000 for first place and that's what it is now. $10,000. Beautiful. Go! Yeah, baby! About 25 minutes wide open, averaging about 65. the board for 2003. What we're fishing today is actually wild rice. So what we're trying to do is stay out on the outside edge of it. What we're trying to cast is into some of the thicker stuff. The story is, I don't know if I believe it or not, is that the muskies keep the bass in the weeds. And this is the thickest stuff on the lake and there certainly are fish in here. So I guess I tend to believe that theory. A good one? Oh, nice fish. Yes, nice fish, Chuck. This is the kind of fish we're catching. It's a little bit smaller, but you can see how thick they are. That's what's so nice about this format. It doesn't matter which guy catches them. 
Because they all weigh the same. Cut that one on a jawbreaker spoon, pass it out, and reel it in across the top of the rice. That's been the hot bait this morning. Behind us right now is our Tournament of Champions champion, Jim Severson. Out here on Leech Lake, you're gonna see a couple of different techniques that are gonna be real prominent in producing these largemouth bass today. Jim is doing one of them by flipping shorelines, this heavy vegetation right on the shore. Those fish are scooted up in there and the anglers are gonna be sticking them out of there. They'll come back. I'm a top water guy, so if we can get the the rat bite to go, you know, that's a good good locator. Oh, Rocky. Wrong species. <laughs> I'm actually fishing on the north shore of Boy Bay. The morning hasn't gone real well, not to what I was hoping it was gonna do. This is the first fish we've caught all day. Everybody talks about how hard it is to hook these fish. And I very, very rarely miss a fish on a frog. Thanks, Jeremy. No problem, buddy. It's your pattern. What I did is took a Northland leg rattles. And I put them leg rattles right on top of that frog. And uh, what it does is it doesn't inhibit your hook sets. So when they do bite down, they have enough room where they can get their mouth on it and you hardly ever miss a fish. I got my best spot yet to come, so we're gonna go sit on that one the rest of the day. We're gonna head over there right now and give it a whirl. We're working as a team here occasionally. One of us will get a fish to blow up on a top water. We'll mark the spot and then the other guy will throw back in there with a slip sinker rig. The fish are going to go a little bit more, I think, as the day progresses here, at least with the, the pattern that we're fishing. I just saw one move. That's the type of bite you... You work for an hour, an hour and a half to get, and uh, if you're lucky enough to get it, you got to execute and put the fish in live on. Largemouth bass on Leech Lake love shallow water vegetation. In fact, one of their favorite homes is famous Leech Lake wild rice. Well, right now we're in the middle of one of the largest ones on the lake, and two pro anglers have decided to call it home today. Pro angler Chad Johnson and pro angler Travis Peterson are dissecting this massive wild rice bed. The slop is so vast that you really have to almost cover a lot of water and hope you run across a couple active ones versus slowing down and dropping in worms and jigs. We've got three, three bass so far. It's uh, about quarter after nine. We'll get our fish, but they're not coming as easy as we were hoping. We're going to get him. Right here. Maybe slide right in there. All right, good job. Using a jawbreaker spoon today, Northland jawbreaker. It's my favorite bait in the in the slop, and I've got a little weighted trailer hook on here, gold shiner pattern. When we get bites, they come on it pretty hard. The Minnesota Pro Am Bass Tour is sponsored by Northland Ford and KFAN Radio. Here in the Northland, horizon line stretch as far as the eye can see. And to get anywhere, you need a vehicle that'll prepare you for just about anything. That's why there's Ford Outfitters, with the most complete lineup of SUVs on the planet. From the Badlands to the Boundary Waters, Ford has the perfect SUV to equip you. Defy boundaries and get to your local Northland Ford dealer today. This is AM 1130. Hi, this is Captain Billy Hildebrand from Fan Outdoors. Billy's always got some good advice. I've learned a lot about uh, fishing, for sure, and, and hunting. I enjoy the uh, friendly banner going back and forth. 
It's like listening when fishing's on, fishing's great. When hunting's on, hunting's great. Join us Thursday evenings and Saturday mornings on your outdoor sports leader, KFAN. to the Minnesota Pro Am Bass Tour. We're past the halfway point of the tournament and things are really starting to heat up. It's going to be a race against the clock to find out who's going to bring in the biggest bag of bass and take home the $10,000 first place prize. But before we do, stick with us as we check out Northland Ford's Angler's Profile. Kian, what's the biggest fish you've ever caught? Um, Black and white. Black and white. Oh, it was giant. It was giant? Nobody likes a good fish story more than this kindergarten teacher. B. B is for black molly. B is also for bass. In fact, there's a live one in this school. This is Nevis Public School in Nevis, Minnesota, home to the world's largest tiger muskie and rookie Minnesota pro ambassador, pro angler, Jason Durham. I have two passions in life. One is teaching, one is fishing. And uh, the two are interchangeable, as you can see. I love spending time in the classroom, and I, I bring part of my passion for fishing into the classroom. Which happens to be a great way to get kids hooked on learning. So what they do is they actually catch a fish, and they look at the number, word, or letter on the back. And if they can identify it, they get to throw it into the bucket to keep. If they don't know it, I help them with it, or the person volunteering helps them with it and they throw it back into the lake. So then the next time that they catch it, they might know that number, letter, or word. Hey, what's this one? Six on the back of a crappie. There's also an emphasis on fine art. I have green right here. Who wants light green? The only thing we don't do is actually catch fish. So in the summer, we offer a program through our community education in the school, and all of the kids K through 6 are invited to participate free of charge. Who knows, Jason might just be grooming the competition. But even if they don't take angling to the level he has, he hopes that the passion he brings off the water and into the classroom will give these youngsters a good attitude when it comes to, to learning. It should be enjoyable and that's what we're trying to do today. We're taking learning and we're, we're using it in a different way so that it's enjoyable to the kids. It doesn't necessarily have to be done with pencil and paper. Angling should be fun too. Even if you're not catching fish, even just being out on the water with somebody that you enjoy being with is important. But it, it's slow, the bites are far and few in between. Well, hopefully now that the sun's come back out, maybe the fish will start biting. Uh, it seems to go in spurts. Uh, we had a spurt where we caught three fish within 20 minutes and it's, it cooled down and we're hoping uh, maybe the sun coming back out will turn them back on. You're a fish partner. <laughs> This time of year, we're looking at post-spawn fish. Um, the guys just got to go slow, take your time. Um, a lot of the fish get pretty tight-lipped after spawn. We started on this point this morning. There were there were three other boats that come in, and uh, one guy came through and was just rifling his casts. And that's just that wasn't going to cut it this morning. I mean, I could tell right off the bat. Uh, Troy had one that just was kind of a, a roll on it. wasn't that it wasn't really an aggressive strike. The fish didn't have the debate. And, and then you just kind of let them kind of dictate the tempo. Oh, get the net, get the net. That comes out. That's a nice one. I'll take a few of them anytime. 
Even though Leech Lake is one of the largest lakes in the state of Minnesota, today she's not fishing like a real big lake. Here we are in a narrow little channel on the northeast side of the lake, finding a huge concentration of anglers. Here we are, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine boats in this tiny little area, all searching for the biggest bag of bass. So stick with us, it's gonna be a tight race in this tight group. Ready, you rolling? I am rolling. Get the best. All right, you guys can ride on the rest of the day if you'd like. Well, it isn't as big as we like it here in Boy Bay, but you know, it was exciting. <laughs> There's a seven and a half foot rod, big, thick, heavy rod. Pull them out of here. 50 pound power pro line. Braid line, gotta have braid line for this. And I just work the frog back real, real slow, twitch it a couple times. And man, when they get it, they get it. It's noon right now. We got another um, couple hours of fish, two and a half hours or so. We moved into this rice once the sun got a little bit higher, and, and we've been throwing rats rats and scum frogs and we've got the rest of our fish uh, doing this. I gotta get them out of here. Ugh. Still got them along. I think I got more more weeds than fish. But... Let's see what we got in there. Oh, a good one. That's a decent, decent bass. That's the one we've been waiting for. It's the biggest one we got so far, I think. Woo! Those oxygenators. Keep them lively. All right, that's eight. Taking care of our lakes and fish is a big reason why the Minnesota Pro Am Bass Tour is such a success. Our commitment is evident, and we want you to be a part of it. So check out this week's environmental experience brought to you by the Minnesota State Lottery. Well, the reason that we care about keeping our fishery one of the best in the country is because there are others that want to go out and, and catch these fish. The Minnesota Pro Ambass Tour uses one of the most innovative live release systems in the country. We use a system designed by Aqua Innovations with adds and regulates the proper amount of oxygen from the time the fish are brought in to the time they're released. It's really important to get fish back in the same locations and back in the environment that they were before so we really don't upset the balance of nature. Um, right now we're trying to fish uh, some some rice with some top water. Um, looking for a few big fish. Oh, here comes one. Come on now. We're looking for... Uh, there's some big fish in the rice, and we've, we've had a few blow-ups, but they've come up short, so we just stuck with it, and we're going to try to see if we can't get a couple good ones to bite here yet before we're done. Stay on there. Oh. <laughs> and look at the little guy. Oh. It's just a wee little guy. I think the bait's bigger than the fish. I'm fishing for largemouth with a bait half the size of the fish. Hang on, right. That fish there would have definitely won the smallest fish award for today. But they won't let me bring those in, they're too small. The Minnesota Pro-Am Bass Tour is sponsored by Media Rare and the Minnesota State Lottery. Hi, I'm Stefan Reynolds, host of the Environmental Journal. What's the Environmental Journal? Sunday mornings at 11, the Environmental Journal. Whoa. Hmm. Bill? 
Yeah? The power went out. Yeah, I know. I got it. Yeah. Welcome to Walker, Minnesota's fishing capital and home to the Fishing Hall of Fame. This is the place where legends live on and the fish stories never end. Make your own history by experiencing Leech Lake, 113,000 acres of scenic lake beauty and fishing fun all year round. Off the water, Walker offers great shopping, dining, and some top-notch casino action. It's no gamble when we say a trip to Walker is a sure bet. We're into the last hour of fishing on this first event of the year on the Minnesota Pro-Am Bass Tour. And as we saw on the water this morning, things were a little bit challenging for the anglers. They're scrambling, only moments are left. Let's see what they're doing to get their eight fish limit. <laughs> Missed three off the bat and then came back and picked up two. And uh, been trying to hit the same type of structure. It's been tough to put together a pattern. Now we're just trying to all slop and just trying to catch anything that goes my well. Got him? Good job. All right. Leech Lake Bass. Good job, Jim. Well, we got uh, we got about 10 minutes left of the day. We're looking for one more big fish. Uh, we got a pretty decent bag today. Uh, most of the most most of the fish today we caught were uh, fishing in the rice, scum frogs, um, flipping senkos, jigs. Uh, we're doing all right, I guess. Uh, I don't think we got enough to win it, but uh, somebody always comes up with a bigger bag. But we're gonna give it a couple more, uh, a couple more casts here and head on in. All right. My strategy for. Five minutes left is just doing the same thing, just throw into the little pockets, let it lay there, and uh, they'll come out from underneath the bog and nail it. We've got a limit. I think we're in pretty good shape, but this is a really good fishery and there's some good hooks out there. All right, we better rock and roll. We don't want to be late. Stay tuned, up next. Leech Lakes champ and $10,000 winner. The Minnesota Pro-Am Bass Tour is sponsored by Ranger Boats, Star Tribune, and Yamaha Motors. There is a place where people still care about real quality and innovation. Where ideas aren't limited to an eight-hour clock. Performance is measured by your total satisfaction and attention to detail is a celebrated way of life. Welcome to the Ranger family. Real people, real commitments, and boats that are literally legendary. Discover Yamaha's VMAX power. When you want the best, choose Yamaha. Out of a job you don't like and into one you do star tribune working in the paper online in the mail and at events brace yourself for the yamaha v max lineup for 2003 featuring the hot new v max 250h pvi its next generation high pressure direct injection delivers the highest top speed of any bass engine yamaha's ever made an all-new lower unit design Keeps you flying straight as an arrow and farther on every gallon of fuel. Awesome power. Incredible control. The heart-pounding VMAX lineup from Yamaha. Before you take off to your favorite lake or river, always check your brake lights, turn signals, taillights. Make sure everything's working proper so you can have a great weekend.
Walker, Minnesota's Leech Lake showed why this is Minnesota's fishing capital. The fish just kept getting bigger all afternoon long coming across the stage. The bags were larger and larger, all in anticipation of that first place prize. On top was Matt Ryan and Chuck Scott with 24.95 pounds, only to be slightly edged out by veteran pro Dean Capra and Lauren Berg, 25.39 pounds. But local pro John Crane and Eric Hildebrand smashed the competition with 29.02 pounds to take home the $10,000 first place Minnesota Pro-Am Bass Tour cash. $10,000. We're here with Leech Lake champions John Crane and Eric Hildebrand. Guys, great day. Lots awesome. of fun. Loved it. A lot of fun. You talked about a lot of techniques that were helping you put fish in the boat. What was the winning presentation? Northland Jungle Jig, right here, baby. This 3 8 ounce black and blue was the ticket. Throw it right into those cut banks, into the reeds. Those big bass just swallowed it up. And Eric Hildebrand, what do winning largemouth bass look like? Just like these. Oh, yeah! It's big bass and big bucks on the Minnesota Pro-Am Bass Tour, and this is just the first stop of the year. We're going to award over $250,000. You're going to want to be with us at the next stop, Lake Vermilion. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you bass fishing in Minnesota. Provided by Crystal Piers Marine. Lodging and banquet facilities provided by Northern Lights Casino. Chipler's Wardrobe provided by Carhartt and Irish Setter. The Minnesota Pro Ambassador is a production.